Hi, John Rice, Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, coming to you with another update about what's going on here in the West Michigan real estate community. So I'm coming to you virtually. We're actually using a product called Zoom. And I want to do that because I'm going to share with you my screen, talk to you a little bit about what's been going on out there in today's real estate market. So if you've joined me on the ones in the past, I call this my pulse edition. And here's why. It's about being positive upbeat, leading edge, shareworthy, and engaging, okay? So we call it the pulse update. And so where are we at right now? Well, a lot of the people I'm talking to, we're having them go ahead and get their house free, ready to, to market. But a lot of the pre-marketing efforts, meeting in person, going through the home, those kinds of things are on hold, unless you're gonna do it virtually. We actually can have people you know, uh, set up a Zoom, they can do it through their phone, they kind of walk through the house and show what's going on at home. And we can actually give some pointers as to what they need to do to prep their house. So if that's something that's of interest to you, we can do that. Um, the for sale piece for many people, unless they're truly in a financial hardship, for a lot of people, it makes sense to just go ahead and put that on pause until people can actually go through the home. Uh, we're still at a point uh, because we've extended the uh, stay at home order. People can't physically walk through a home right now. And if they can't physically walk through a home, it's going to severely limit the number of people who can truly be engaged and ready to purchase. Yes, you might get a purchase agreement, but what does that purchase agreement read mean if there's a contingency that the buyer wants to come through there in person before closing? It might work for some people, but not everybody. So uh, there are definitely it's definitely recommended that we need to talk about your specific situation as to whether or not you're moving ahead with selling or if you're putting it on pause until the stay at home order is lifted. Um, under contract, so those are still processing a lot of the aspects of uh, moving a home along for sale involve mortgage companies, title companies, inspectors, those kinds of things um, are still allowed to be progressing in the proper direction to get those towards close. So as long as the buyer still has a funding source, uh, be it their job or something like that, we're seeing a lot of those still progress towards close. Otherwise, lenders are simply saying, hey, let's put a timeout on this one until maybe that buyer can get some, uh, you know, maybe the buyer's employer isn't handing out paychecks right now, uh, something like that. So let's wait until that starts and then we'll uh, re-engage in this um, purchase agreement and get you towards close. And then the sold feature, there's actually um, a lot going on with possession. So that is a case-by-case -case basis that we'd want to talk about. Uh, but bottom line, there are still many things that someone can do uh, to get their house ready so that if you wanted to move yet later this spring or this summer, uh, you know, the stay at home order is expected to be lifted at the end of April. And with that, then uh, we can move forward. So what's going on out there as far as the experts? Well, this is an interesting statement that I saw. The housing sector enters this recession underbuilt rather than overbuilt. And that means that the economy rebounds uh, as the economy rebounds, which it will at some stage, housing is set up to lead that way out. And that by, that's by Robert Dietz. He's the chief, uh, chief economist at the uh, National Association of Home Builders. Um, so that was great to see. And then, of course, also something else that we spoke about uh, last session we were together um, is that the average economic impact of one home sale in the US is $84,724. That means what can we do to help uh, lift the United States economy? Well, uh, continue on with your plans of moving. That one home sale is gonna have a tremendous economic impact on the US economy and help propel everything in the proper direction. So give that some thought. Uh, looking at what a lot of the major financial institutions are talking about, they're expecting what's called a rapid V-type uh, recovery. So you can see here, uh, the green is Morgan Stanley, the yellow is Goldman Sachs, and the purple is JP Morgan. And each of these really have uh, kind of a V-shape where we were going strong, he headed into this COVID-19, and then boom, sailing right out of it. So what kind of timeframes around something like that? Well, 
Uh, if you look at what PricewaterhouseCoopers uh, survey says, uh, they surveyed 50 leaders, and 66% uh, of those 50 leaders from a cross section across the nation said about 66% of them said, hey, less than a month. As we're on the flip side of this COVID-19 thing, um, about 66% of them said that they really felt like we'd see uh, recovery in less than a month. Um, and 90% of them, uh, presumably it would include those 66%, obviously, uh, said one to three months. So we could look at um, you know the, the far side of that, a three month recovery. But if a V-shaped recovery, boom, we're, we're into it now, but uh, we're get, gonna be out of it quick, which is excellent. I know everybody wants to get back to work and um, truly get back to whatever the new normal is going to be, right? So what are some things, if you've got some extra time on your hands, what are some things that you could potentially be doing around your home? Well, let's take a look here. Uh, you can clean beyond the basics. So I do have this infographic on my website if you'd like a, a nice detailed blown up version of it. But bottom line, uh, you're talking about uh, getting a chance to clean the baseboards, uh, clean the fan blades, right? Um, just clean every single inch of the home. Uh, these are things that a buyer would really want to see. If you've got extra time on your hands, it's a great way to attack it. Organize your space. Uh, as I walk through people through their home, a big one that is, is truly impactful is take a look at that closet space. People aren't going to be opening your dressers that are going to be moving along with you. They, they don't come and do that. But they do open all your closet spaces. So uh, some tips there. Arrange your clothes by uh, the order of the rainbow, okay? The, the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, Roy G. Biv, go back to sixth grade science, right? Um, but yes, that has an impact. People want to be organized. So taking time to organize those, it's great. You can eliminate uh, the clothing that you know you're not gonna need. Maybe it's the heavy winter items. Uh, maybe we've got just a, a few extra days of that left so you can pull a lot of that out of your out of your closet space and really look to organize you can freshen up the walls something as simple as touching up those areas that have gone through and gotten nicked or um, you know a lot of times the entryways or uh, halfway into the kitchen those are spots where you really want to take a look at that area and say what do i need to do Let's put the buyer, buyer goggles on, as I've said for years, and let's take a look, train your eye down to the floor. Is there spots where maybe a pet has rubbed up against the wall and that needs to be cleaned and repainted? Are there little spots where, you know, maybe kids' toys have kind of nicked up the, the um, baseboards or spots on the wall? Those kinds of things can be touched up, cleaned up, and it really makes a phenomenal impact for a buyer when they walk through your home. Uh, evaluate your lighting. Do you have light bulbs that are burned out? Uh, that's something that's an easy thing to take care of and uh, make sure that it's nice and bright. And if you have the opportunity to go LED, you'll get some cost savings in there too. Uh, and then go through and organize the kitchen. This is a great one. You're gonna love it while you're there, but uh, recently toured a house where uh, they had an incredibly organized kitchen. You could tell that they loved to cook, but it just had um, a, a beautiful sense to it where when you looked around, it made sense. The, the spices were where they should be, the dishes were where they should be, and the pantry was well organized. Of course, this tour was prior to the stay-at-home order, um, but all of those kinds of things can have a great impact and uh, really help you know, when a buyer's looking at your pantry space, it helps them visualize, oh, if I lived here, perhaps I could be this organized too. It's, I call it the HDTV effect. It's the impact of looking at house perfect time and time again. That's what buyers wanna see when they come through your home. Uh, find creative ways to uh, display kids' artwork besides on the refrigerator and uh, keep that refrigerator nice and clean. Take the cereal boxes off the top of the refrigerator. Things like that that are very common. You want to go through and eliminate those. Now if you have extra time, it's a great time to just go ahead and plan for those. And then tidy up the yard. Uh, you know, the stay-at-home order has asked us not to go out and purchase new things or 
or uh, get you know uh, mulch or anything like that. So we're not recommending you doing that. But raking the leaves, um, you know, you can you can begin to you know, trim those dead branches or anything like that that is an eyesore. A uh, common thing that I see on a lot of inspection reports, it's an easy one to take care of, is pull the shrubbery away from the house. So if you've got something that's brushing up against the house, what a great time to go out and trim a few of those uh, limbs and branches off. Of course, be safe while doing it. But um, go ahead and get the outside cleaned up nice and, and good too. And give that front door a good, good scrub down as we're allowed to really get people uh, into the house and, and have in-person showings again. Um, having a nice clean front door, if you've got a stoop you know, over your porch where maybe it's enclosed, it might get dusty from the winter time, just give it a soft wash. That's something very easy to do. And um, you know, just some mild detergent and, and a rag or a sponge, you're gonna be able to wash all of that dust right off and give it a nice, clean, polished, welcoming look. That said, uh, as I mentioned before on michiganrealestatehub.com, that's kind of my spot to uh, truly host all of the listings that are in West Michigan. Uh, it's a great resource. So you can go on there, you can look at houses with pools, you can look at waterfront homes. Uh, but if you're interested, I put together a curated list of uh, just what would it be like to um, stay at a house that had a pool, acreage, and waterfront. Okay, so this list is curated up for those three features combined. You might have some fun with it. And after the stay at home order is lifted, if you wanna go take a tour and think, hey, this is where, uh, if this ever happens again, this is where I wanna live, well, great. Let's help you put together the right plan to make that happen. So again, John Rice, Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. If you've got questions, I'm here to talk to you about it. Uh, we can connect virtually over the phone, text or email. I love what I do and I'm happy to help. And I look forward to being able to assist you here in 2020. Talk to you soon.